Hello and assalamu alaikum viewers. This is host Prahani Pal and we are watching News Point. In today's video, we will be sharing our forecast for the next express entry draw and we will discuss what kind of draw it is going to be, whether it is going to be a much anticipated or much awaited federal skilled workers draw or would it continue with the usual PNP and CEC category draws only. If you haven't subscribed our channel, consider subscribing our channel. We provide weekly updates on the express entry draws and provide regular updates whenever a draw happens on the express entry category. Now let's take a look at the pool. Anybody who is above 600 as always I am not going to discuss because uh, these people have PNP or their score is so high that whenever there is a draw they are always bound to get an invitation whether it is a PNP draw or if it is a generic draw. So after that range the first range which we are looking at is 501 to 600 very high scoring candidates. In this range now we have 543 people. This is the data from 22nd June. Uh, two weeks before this there were actually 561 people. So 18 people have reduced from this category. Most likely they were CEC only people and uh, they got invitation in the draw which happened after 8 June. If we go two weeks behind that, uh, that number was 433. So the number was increasing but now in the last uh, draw or the last data on 22nd June this number has actually reduced. 491 to 500. Now there are 425 people, a very small increase I would say, uh, only a change of 14 people. So 14 people are added in this category or in this score range. Again if we go two weeks before this, that is on 25th May data, the number of people were 329. So from 27th May, so from 25th May to 8th June in those two weeks, the increase was significant. It was about 80 but in the past two weeks the increase is only 14. 481 to 490. Now there are 1429 people. This is an increase of 74 people. Again if you go back two weeks that is towards the end of May this number was 1168. So in the beginning of June the increase was significant roughly 200 people but now increase is small which is 74 people. Now let's take a look at 471 to 480 which is the most crucial range because before COVID, this was the range that is 471 or higher, which was getting invitations only. In this range, now we have 4000 people. Yes, that looks a lot, but that is an increase of 212 people only from last two weeks. If you go back in May, this number was only 3300. So it changed 500 in the weeks from 25th May to 8th June, but now this change is only 200. As I have been saying consistently that the number of profiles which are being created in express entry especially with higher scores has reduced considerably. Let's take a look at holistically that is from 471 to 600 how many people we have. So right now we have 6412 people. This is an increase of 282 people from early June but if we go back to May at that time there were 5200 people. So Towards end of May to middle of June, it changed by 800 people. But in June, like from the beginning of June towards the end of June, this only increased by 282. So again, the, that same consistent trend which I am talking about that the number of new profiles being created has is going down considerably. Next range 461 to 470 is very important because I believe once the express entry draws resume for federal skilled workers people, then after first initial few initial draws these are the people who would be hoping to get an invitation. In this range pre-covid it was about 9500 in the beginning of March. After that this number dropped considerably that is when all the CC only people were taken out of this range. So now this is standing at 7290. This is an increase of 40 people from the last two weeks and in the beginning of June from end of May the change was about 300 people. So even in this range, the number of new profiles being created have gone down. Another important thing to look over here is that pre-COVID there were about 9500 people in this range but after that when CC only draws happened for few weeks or for few rounds, this number dropped significantly and I believe by the time all the 460s were cleared, this number came down to 8000. 
So that is very important because this tells us that in each range out of total number of people, how many are CEC only. So if you look at the data from 8th March, there were about 9500 people. And then if you look at the data from 14th April, that is when two days before the 455 draw, this number had come down to 8000. Actually, let's even look at the data from 27th April. This number had come down to 7000. So I would say that from 9500 to 7100, that is about 2500 people. So maybe obviously new profiles were also being created. But I would say that out of 9500 people, at least 2500 were CEC only which got invitations when the CEC only straws happened. So this tells us that most likely in each range we have about 15 to 20 percent people who are CEC only. So holistically from 461 to 600 now we have about 13,000 people in the pool and the number of people who are entering the pool above this range is very minimal. It's staying at the same level from the last four six months. So I would say if the number of new profiles being created continues on the same rate and there are three to four federal skilled workers draws in two months then this number would come down significantly and most of the people in this range could get invitations but a lot of it, this depends upon how many new profiles are being created and that would depend how is the covid situation around the world because we know that now ielts has resumed in most of the countries but it is resumed with a very reduced capacity so the number of profiles being created is considerably low and i believe it would stay low next range is 451 to 460 there were 10000 people pre covid and now there are about 8000 people so again as i mentioned earlier that 15 to 20 percent people are who are cc only which have been mostly cleared now so all those people who are in this range are federal school worker people similarly for 441 to 450 Pre-COVID, there were about 9,600 people in this range and now we have 7,600 people. So again, about 2,000 people have been taken out from this range, which were CEC only people. So now all the people who are in this pool are federal skill worker people. So in this range, the change is about 300 people are reduced from the previous draw. Before that, the change was uh, high because the cutoff was in this category. So a lot of people were cleared from this category. 431 to 440 uh, we know that the last rounds cutoff was 431 so the number of people who are sh being shown here that is 9600 that is before the draw so after the draw this number would have come down by 1000 or 1500 at least i would say in this range pre covid there were 9500 people and even this before this previous draw the number of people are still the same because in this range, no federal skilled worker people would be creating their profile because they, they would know that their score is too low as compared to what is the ongoing cutoff. However, a lot of CEC people would have created their profiles recently because now they know that they would be getting invitations if the CEC draws continue. Now let's take a look at the 421 to 430 which is the most important one if the next draw is a CEC only draw. In this range, pre-COVID there were 6500 people and pre-COVID almost nobody was creating profiles in this score range because score was above 470 for the last 6-7 months before the COVID situation happened and score never actually went below 430 for a year or so now. I believe uh, 431 was the lowest score from the last 2-3 years which we saw in the last round. So we can see that on 22nd June when this data was published there were about 7200 people which is an increase of 144 from the previous two weeks. So most likely these 144 people in created their profile who were CEC. So I would say that in this range the majority of the people are actually CEC. So when the next draft is CEC I do not see that the cutoff going down by a significant margin because unlike the above ranges there are more people who are CC and less people who are federal skilled workers in my opinion so I believe if the next draw is a CC only draw we might not see a CRS score drop of five or six points as we saw in the previous round maybe we will see a CRS score drop of three or four only okay now let's take a look 
at people who are above 431 and between 600 that how many new profiles are being created earlier when we made our previous video and when i made a video on the future of federal skilled workers draw i was very optimistic that the federal skilled workers draws would resume in july after canada day because people were believing that on canada day and on july 4th which is a usa holiday uh, the border restrictions would be lifted and people would be able to travel freely for tourism uh, on this weekend however that is not happening uh, restrictions are in effect at least till july 15th so if you ask me I would say that the next draw is going to be again unfortunately a PNP and CEC category draw only which is a great news for CEC people however it is not a very great news for federal school worker people however I would say since we have looked at the data and we know that number of new profiles which are being created especially above 460 has decreased a lot although now uh, IELTS is open at least in Pakistan, I believe it's open in India as well. Uh, those people who had applied for their credential assessment, they are also getting the responses because it's now been 3-4 months. However, the number of profiles which are being created, especially above 460, is still very low. Not more than 2-300 people are applying above 460 every 2 weeks. So this means even if the federal skill workers draws resume in August or whenever, Within two to three draws, all the people who are above 470 would be cleared and the people who have, are between 460 and 470, they would have a clear shot at getting an ITA. So to sum it up, I believe the next express entry draw would be again a PNP and CEC only draw. I believe the cutoff in this round would be around 429 or 428 because I believe now after 431 the score is not going to drop significantly because lots of people who are creating express entry profiles in the CEC category they are like above 430, 440, 450 so mostly people would be in that range and then few very people who would be below 430 or who have been sitting in the pool for quite some time they would be invited so my forecast I believe for the next draw would be 428 do let us know in the comment section that what do you think of our prediction and when do you think the express entry straws would resume for federal school workers people. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, this is your host Farhani Pal signing off. Assalamu alaikum.